Hi everyone, my name is Hilda. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making one of those delicious, very fluffy cheesecake. Kind of what you guys taste when you guys go to the Cheesecake Factory. So it's going to be very delicious. It's going to be very creamy. And if you guys take a look at here, I have four Philadelphia cheesecakes. So that's what's going to give our cheesecake our biggest flavor. So pay attention to the ingredients, okay? So I have four full boxes of Philadelphia sheets. It does matter on the brand, so make sure that you guys do get the Philadelphia sheets. I also have two cups of sour cream, two cups of sugar. I have half a cup right here of the whippet cream, and it's gonna give it a lot of flavor as well. And then I have just five spoons here of the all-purpose flour, and it's gonna bring up a nice fluffy cake as well. As you guys do know, I like to use these type of things to give it flavor and also to help us with um, some colors and whatsoever on our foods and whatsoever. So I buy this stuff in Mexico, like I've always told you guys too, and Dulceria La Bonita here in Phoenix as well. So I'm gonna use the queso crema, the cream cheese flavor. I'm gonna use one spoonful of that and also uh, vanilla extract as well. And then just a little pinch of salt as well to bring up the sweetness in that. Also, four eggs here. I'm not gonna use the full traditional six eggs just because I'm gonna show you guys the trick to make sure that we are only using four of them. And also, and I'm sorry that I went ahead and I already grinded up my cookies here, but I am using Galletas Marias. I put in some melted butter and also a little tint, um, I'm sorry, a little pinch of um, cinnamon to give it some flavor. So I don't have um, the graham crackers or whatsoever. So I'm using Galletas Marias, which is perfectly fine. I'm using the whole package. So that's perfectly fine down there. And that's gonna be for our crust down here. I'm gonna use a nine inch pan and we're gonna start by getting those edges nice and easy here. I started with the spray, but before I continue, let me pull my hair back because we're gonna be very busy here. So here we go. All right, we're gonna start by making sure that all of our edges are covered. There we go. And here is our last one. So if when you take off the cheesecake, it's gonna be nice and firm. In order for it to stick, you have to spray some grease in it. I'm using one of these spraying. Oops, let's see, there we go. My oven is already preheated at 350 degrees, which is gonna stay exactly that way. We're not gonna be messing with it. A lot of people start with the high oven and high temperatures and then lower it. We're not going to, we're gonna go ahead and keep it that way for as long as the cheesecake is in there. So for now, we are actually gonna take our crust to the oven for at least eight to 10 minutes. So here we go. These are my grinded galletas marias and we're just gonna form the crust. And you're just gonna try um, cutting it down at the bottom. And grab yourself something so that it'll help you get that firm down. This is exactly how we want our crust to look. Now we're gonna go ahead and place it in the oven and it's gonna stay there for eight to 10 minutes. All right, one of the things to remember is that all of this stuff has to be at room temperature. So make sure that you guys get it out of the refrigerator for a minimum of two hours before you start making this. So we're gonna start here with our cream cheese, all four bars. There we go. like a lot but it's not starting 
incorporating it. And there we go. Once the sugar is fully incorporated in there, then we're going to start adding the rest of the ingredients. Very good. Here we go. About half of a cup of the whipped cream. It's important that you guys mix it one ingredient at a time. There we go. Mm. Let's see if I can smell the crust on the, on the oh babe, can you smell it? it? Smells really good too. All right, so here's our sour cream. this no all right guys here we go okay next it's going to be our five spoonfuls of the all flour purpose of the all-purpose flour here we go yes. and There's our pinch of salt. This is to bring the sweetness in it and it's gonna be delicious. I do have a, a better um, bowl here, but I was trying to actually show you guys the, the clear purpose of using this um, little dish here just because I wanted you guys to see all the individual ingredients in it. However, I'm making a mess all over my kitchen, which is okay, but hopefully you guys don't make that mess in your own kitchen. All right, here are going to be the cheesecake flavors that I like to use. There we go. If you don't have it, it's perfectly fine. You can actually just use the vanilla extract. If you guys have vanilla bean, that's actually going to be even better than my vanilla extract. All right. Everything that's on the side of the bowl, make sure that you guys are putting it all together so that you guys have a nice combination of all of the ingredients in there. The smell, it's so, 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 so nice. All right, here we go with the eggs. All right, one at a time, okay? fourth and last egg you do have to be very careful because we don't want to over blend any of our ingredients so for the last time go ahead and mix everything back into your bowl everything that's on your edges and here we go with our last egg 
We're not going to overbeat. We're just going to give it one more last. There we go. So once you pull this out of the oven, it actually has to stay out for just a few minutes so that it cools down, okay? And then you may have to put a little bit more butter just to stick in those edges a little bit more. The reason why I like to put it in first is so that it does stay underneath the crust. When this cools down, I'm gonna show you guys a trick because it's gonna go into the oven and forma de baño maria. So it's just gonna go into an inch about, about an inch of water and we're gonna put it back in the oven for another whole full hour. So here are we just gonna let it sit here tight for just a little longer. All right, because it's gonna go in the oven in about an inch of water, we do have to make sure that we do have all the closures. So we're gonna start here. All right. We're gonna use some radial wraps and this is gonna help us seal. There you go, just to make sure that there's no water coming in here. Right. And I'm gonna double seal it just to make sure. Here's my other edges. Nice. I can't wrap present, so neither this. <laughs> Just make sure that there's no water coming in there. Are you guys ready? This stuff smells delicious. Here we go. Just enough for your pan. Don't grab a 10 inch or anything like that. This is a nine inch and it perfectly fits with all of the ingredients that I gave you guys. See how perfect that fit in there? Nice. All right, let's get that out of the way. Here is a dish with some water in it. Se le llama baño maria. And we're going to put that in there. Make sure it's enough water, which it is. Now it's going to go in the oven. Now it's at 350 degrees, okay? Not more, not less. And it's gonna stay there for a whole full hour. What's gonna happen after your hour, it's done. Make sure you put a timer. Mine does have a timer. I'm gonna put a timer on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it there for another additional hour once I turn it off. So on for one full hour, turn it off, leave it for another hour. It's gonna be in there for a total of two hours, okay? So here we go. Do not open it, leave it alone. Put your timer on there. Uh, here we go, cook time. That is 60 minutes. You guys, it just came out of the oven. Like I said, I left it there for a whole full hour at 380 degrees. And the other hour was still in the oven, but it was turned off. So as you can see, it's so nice and beautiful. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it actually sitting here. It has to be cooled down before we actually put it in the refrigerator. And it's gonna be in the fridge for a minimum of four hours um, or overnight. I'm gonna leave it there for at least four hours. And then I'm gonna show you guys how beautiful and nice this is gonna come out. It's gonna be perfect for the holidays. Thanksgiving is coming up along. And as you all know, I hardly ever do any videos anymore. So perfect timing so that you guys can make this for Thanksgiving. I am sure that your family and everybody's going to love it and enjoy it, okay? So I'll see you guys in four hours, you guys. So here's the real thing. Let's go and see. Very nice and gentle. 
There's our first piece. Here's our second piece. Nice and beautiful. So it didn't crack at all. And if it would have cracked, one of the easiest ways to fix it is with sour cream, sugar, and vanilla extract. You just mix it together and just put it on top, put it back in the oven for another 10, 15 minutes, and just let it sit there for another hour or so, and it's gonna be very delicious. But as you can see, it's nice and perfect. This is one of the reasons why I like to put the, the five um, spoonfuls of the all-purpose all flour so that it does not crack. And also the salt is very important so that it does bring that very nice sweet. So as you guys can see, I have some fruit here and I made this puree myself. I'll show you guys later a video of all the purees that I make. This one in particular is cherries. So that is gonna go there and I have some strawberries up in here and kind of some just decoration stuff. So again, here is our wet knife and we're gonna dry it up and we're gonna cut a slice. Okay, This is four hours after I refrigerated the um, cheesecake. So it's very important that you guys do the exact same thing, okay? Um, if you guys are planning on making this for Thanksgiving, it is time consuming. So I suggest you guys make it before um, Thanksgiving day, actually, so it's ready by noon or whatsoever. See, this is why it's important to wet the knife and I'm over here talking and being lazy. All right, nice and beautiful. Here we go. And we are just gonna decorate it here. some strawberries in it you guys can decorate this however you guys want I'm just throwing some stuff in there some strawberries and look at how beautiful that presentation looks and the smell in the house it, it's just delicious okay it smells very nice in here so if you guys make this dessert for Thanksgiving everybody's gonna love you all right, so be patient, okay? This cheesecake requires a lot of patience and a lot of time. All right, here we go. Let's try it. It's delicious. It's very creamy and the taste is just so good. So that's why it's very important that you guys do the real cheese, um, the real Philadelphia cheese, not the imitation or the uh, store brands. Um, it is gonna make a big difference, I can guarantee you that. So it is delicious, it's really, really good. I hope you guys enjoy it with your family as well, as well as I will too. And I'm gonna share this cake with my sister's family who's here from Mexico, they're visiting us from Durango. So I hope that they have a good time as well, staying here in Arizona. It is nice and cool. So it's a better weather for them. Um, thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate each and one of you guys for everything that you guys do for me. Thank you for all your messages on Instagram. I do miss making videos more often. However, I will try to make them as often as I can. Jose is gonna start being very busy, so hopefully we'll make some more time so that we can make this happen a lot more often. I really love to bake. Uh, this is one of my favorite things that I like other than cooking. Baking is one of my passions as well, so thank you for being here with me again. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.